Hey guys, in this lesson we will talk about evolution. In this we will talk about evidences of evolution from morphology and anatomy. Homologous organs, this is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. So we have two evidences of evolution on the basis of morphology and anatomy. First is homologous organ and the other is analogous organ. So in this lesson we will deal with homologous organ. Organs which have common origin, similar internal structure and embryonic development are called as homologous organ. So basically homology means common ancestry. So structures which have common ancestry that is origin, similar internal structure and embryonic development are called as homologous organs. We have molecular homology, homology at molecular level. So a uh, common origin of molecules is termed as mo molecular homology. For example, similar blood groups of all primates, man, monkey and apes. So man, monkey and apes have similar kind of blood groups as A, B and O, A, B, etc. Now proteins of chimpanzee and humans are 99% similar. So chimpanzee and humans show molecular homology now examples of homologous organ forelimb of reptiles aves mammals and hind limb of amphibia reptiles aves and mammals are homologous to each other now forelimb of reptiles aves mammals these are homologous so that means they have similar structure of bone like these all three classes will have a Humerus, radius, ulna, metacarpals, carpals and phalanges in their forelimb. So they will all have this similar bone structure of the forelimb and that's why these are homologous organs. And these may show different functions. Their forelimbs may have different functions but all will have similar structure. Thorn of Bougainvillea and tendril of Cucurbita. So these, is, these are modification of axillary bud. So this is example of homologous organ in plants. Now the, uh, these two are axillary buds. That is they have common origin from axillary bud. And this axillary bud is modified to thorn in bougainvillea and tendril in cucurbita. Wings of sparrow, pectoral fin of fish and flipper of seal are also homologous organs and vertebrates heart or brain. So, uh, generally vertebrate organs are also homologous organs. Now, see, uh, this is structure showing hom uh, forelimbs of human, dog, bird and whale. Now, see, uh, this is humerus. All have humerus. Then we have radius, this yellow one. See here, yellow, yellow, yellow radius. Then this is ulna, orange. Ulna, ulna, ulna. Now, these are... Uh, metacarpals these yellow one these are carpals then we have metacarpals then we have phalanges so all these uh, four that is hum four limb of human dog bird and whale all their bone structure are same they are similar in origin that's why these are homologous organs though they perform variety of functions like bird in birds it is used for uh, flying, they in human uh, for holding, uh, in dog for walking, in whale for swimming. So all these have different functions but their structure they are similar. That's why they are homologous organs. Now homology is evidence for divergent evolution. In uh, So that origin, now what is divergent evolution? Origin of different or diverse group of animals because of different functional adaptation is called divergent evolution. Now, uh, we have origin of different group of animals because of different functional adaptation. As we have seen in homologous, they have common origin, but because of different functional adaptation, they have they perform different functions, but their internal structure is same. So that's why homologous is evidence for divergent evolution. 
Now, process of evolution of different species in given geographical area, starting from a point and literally spreading to other areas of geography or habitat, is called adaptive radiation. Now, uh, the process of evolution in which uh, species in a given geographical area radiates to other geographical area or habitats and there they show functional adaptation according to the habitat and evolution occurs. So that is adaptive radiation. So divergent evolution is because of adaptive radiation. Now Darwin's finches and Australian marsupials are examples of adaptive radiations. Darwin finches are considered as best example for adaptive radiation. Now see these are eutherian pla or placental mammals. Now because of divergent, because, uh, divergent because of adaptive radiation we have whale, uh, horse and deer, human and bat. Now in these four limbs, whale it is modified to flipper, horse and deer it is for cursorial adaptation that is anguli grade that is their for running in human it is bipedal and bat we have wings that is volant or aerial adaptation now all these have different habitats so there is adaptive radiation here now similarly there is marsupial radiation as, as it is found in australia austrian marsupials are radiated and they are tasmanian wolf tiger cat banded ant eater Marsupial rat, kangaroo, wombat, bandicoot, cola, marsupial mole and sugar glider. This picture is given uh, in your NCRT also. Just go through from there also. So that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.